सो वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लेवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू सेव द टोकन ऑन आर लोकल स्टोरेज टू हैव द लॉग इन कंसिस्टेंसी एंड दिस मीन्स वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ न्यू सर्विस फॉर द एंगुलर फ्रंट एंड एंड नाउ आई विल ओपन द टर्मिनल फॉर द फ्रंट एंड सो वी हैव दिस फ्रंट एंड वन एंड नाउ आई विल कॉल अ न्यू सर्विस विच इज लाइक टोकन सर्विस so this time again on this services folder i will create the token so token service okay so let's now go hit enter and yes we have this now let's close this on this app services we have we must have that and we are not getting that this means my vs code problem so i will close my vs code and reopen that and this time we will surely get that token token.service.ts yes we have this token.service.ts so whenever we are calling the login part so let's go to login this means whenever we are calling that if that service is successful then we will call this dot handle login or we can say handle response response and we will give the data and yes we don't have this function so let's create that here so it will get the data once more and what we are going to do we are going to give this data to our service so how we can pass that to service again we need to call on the constructor so give a comma here and again private uh, token is a token service so import that at the top now we can simply use token and that should be like this dot token and this dot token dot we need to firstly get handle token so i will call a function called handle or simply token dot handle and pass data dot because in the data we get the access token so access underscore token this is where we get that so yes we are getting error because in this token service we don't have handle method so let's create handle method function whatever you want so this will be like token and then the important part we have to do is we have to set the token or store token to our local storage so let's create a function once more a function called set and inside this set i will simply use local storage dot set item item name is token and its value is again token that token will came from the parameter and now we will call set function and method whatever you call and yes it is here so this means whenever we logged in this local storage will have the token so let's now once more try open this and as we have restarted so we have to restart ng serve here call for backend php artisan serve many have asked me why i am not using valet i use valet but for the demonstration purpose i use php artisan serve because most of you doesn't have the valet okay so like here if i refresh and yes we are getting this one so on our application on the local storage we don't have anything or even we can clear out it now let's call this one two three four five six sign on and we can't see anything but if i now go to our local storage yes we have this token here yeah that's exactly we want but what if if someone just give any random value to this token what if i want to retrieve this token what if i want to remove this token so let's try that so firstly i will create a new function called get method called get and it will going to return local storage dot get item and item name is token this is very easy similarly if we want to remove this token from our local storage so local storage dot 
clear item or remove item and remove item is again token this is good and now it's time to check whether the token is correct or not because anyone can give any random value so we have to say is valid and this is valid will get the token so token and now inside this firstly what we can do we will firstly check if there is a uh, token on the local database or not so let's call the get method to check so if this method will return something we can assure that yes token is there so this is the first part of checking whether we have the token or not but if we have the token we need to split it why we need to split it let's go to chrome and go to only jwt and jwt token because JWT has three part and what we are interested is the second part or the payload part. So this part we need and we want and these parts are concatenated with this dot. So now let's go and we need to firstly split this and get the payload. So let's call a function or I will say constant payload is equal to payload or this dot payload and we will pass token so this will return the token so let's create that payload method payload will get the token and now we will split it so return token dot split and splitting with dot and we want the first one so let me just show you what this payload will give us so one thing more is that in this is valid we are getting that via this get method so we don't need to pass any token so let's just grab the token from here so let's say constant token is equal to get the token and then if there is a token then pass that token to payload and in this handle method because we are calling this handle method so in this handle method I will say console.log and payload and let's pass token for just for testing purpose so refresh and give these details one two three four five six and sign in and yes you can see we have this payload but we need one thing more we need to decode it this is actually uh, base 64 encoded so just after when we get this payload so i will say constant of payload is equal to this we will call another function which will going to decode it so this dot decode will get the payload and let's define decode function so decode is getting the payload and this will going to return base 64 decoded so in javascript to decode any function we have to say json.parse and inside this i will say atob that means decoding of decoding of payload okay so this will going to return and now in this payload i will return the decoded form of the payload so sign in here and you can see this time we are getting ISS various things we are getting but we are interested in ISS which is having this URL the exact URL from which the JSON web token JWT is issued so we need to firstly verify that actually so if we have the payload so like this then payload dot ISS is equal to this this whole URL this one okay if it is equal to this then return true otherwise return false and if there is no token just going to return false once more this is nice and we have to return it here okay if it is equal to so like that will be good but we are getting error it says triple equal to home 
so now let's just verify these things and if this is true it's going to return this and inside this we let's say we will call is valid function and we don't have to pass any token and we will make sure that it will return true so one two three four five six sign in yes we are getting true this means we are successfully logged in and the token we have on our local storage is perfectly valid so this is very nice but you know this approach is not good because when the user logged in the iss will be this one but if user is signing up registering then exactly the url will be sign up so what we can do i can cut this from here and just at the top i will create a private called iss and that should be equal to let's say login is having the url of this one and sign up having the url of sign up okay and now we can compare on that part so instead of returning payload.iss i will say object dot values and now we will pass this dot this dot iss dot index of payload dot iss now we are comparing this dot iss which is here this dot iss any value of that object if it is matches with this one so now we have to say if it is greater than zero or we can simply say minus one this means if the index is greater than minus one this means we have the iss from these two fields then we will say yes the payload is active so final part is that i have to say logged in this is the function i want to say and it is just going to return is valid function and is valid function give us true if everything is fine so everything is fine that means we are logged in so the last try yes we are logged in so clear out so one two three four five six is sign in and we are getting true this means again everything is working fine we have this token here and we are logged in so in the next episode we are protecting this profile route when we are lo not logged in and when we are logged in we have to remove this login and we have to make log out so if you have liked this episode don't forget to share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone know how we can connect Laravel and Angular. Don't forget to subscribe, like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we will meet in the next episode. Till then, enjoy.